Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Megan and I'm Sierra. First of all, excuse our bright red faces, Ooh. especially this side of my face. Um, we went to the uh, Iowa football game yesterday, forgetting, or not even forgetting, no. the weather did not say it was going to be that hot or sunny. It said it was going to be cloudy and like 73. We showed up to the game the whole time, like for four hours that we're sitting out there, it was sunny and it was like 80 degrees. So didn't put sunscreen on, now our faces are paying for it. Um, but hopefully that goes away soon. But what today's video is going to be is a better version of the video that we did last year of like our study with us video because yeah. that video didn't fully highlight I think all the things we do to study. It was just like us at Panera like doing whatever. This is also not completely totally what we do to study. This is like one day that we're specifically setting aside to like really just do everything. We yeah. don't do this like every day. So we've been in class now for two weeks and we haven't actually had like a full on separate study day. So we decided, okay, we're two weeks into classes now. We have two weeks until like our first round of exams to start. Let's start reviewing what we've learned and practicing a little bit more. And so we're going to the library and going to be there for a good chunk of the day to go through and review our four classes that we're in. So since the library doesn't open until 11 and it's like 10, 20 right now, we're going to try doing our physics pre-lab before we leave and then we'll head just because that's kind of quick and so we just want to get that done with instead of like yeah. wasting time because we're ready to get started yeah. so and then when we get to the library i'm going to kind of like break down how i decide what i'm doing and we'll go from there hopefully we'll get a study room so we can actually vlog and talk all right let's get started So to start off our day of studying, we just made it to the library. We are finishing up our physics pre-lab questions. I think I have mine finished technically. Um, the questions were a little weird to answer in my opinion, but hopefully I did fine. I don't know how helpful this is going to be for you guys because we happen to have found someone on YouTube that uses the exact same textbook that our physics lecture uses, um, but you could still probably check out some of his videos. It's just physics demos on YouTube, so if I'm ever confused on something, then I just go and watch him teach it instead of like my professor teaching it. But that's what I'm doing right now, so I'm just like making sure I understand kind of what we're talking about. What I'm you still did. working on the pre lab. I feel like I'm kind of getting it. I'm also like trying to learn stuff that I missed on Friday because of my interview. So it's like I'm having to learn it and like apply it right now. So yeah. It's kind of hard. But I think after this, I want to stick with physics and like. Just you. you probably have homework to do, but yeah. I want to work on some like problems from the book. So we'll probably just stay in physics mode for a while because I feel like I like to just like stick with each subject and then get through everything I want to do to like get in the zone and then I'll like move on to the next one once I'm done. All right, so we have both finished the pre-lab, I guess. This one's kind of weird, but whatever. So to finish off physics, we're going to review. We've done two chapters so far, so we have to review chapter 18 and chapter 19, and then Megan's already finished the chapter 19 homework, but I still have to do it, so when I'm done reviewing, that's when I'll do that homework, and then we'll be done with physics after that, right? Yeah. Okay, so what we mean by physics review is that there are problems throughout our textbook that we usually use for in-class lecture examples, and so we're going to go through the textbook, and when it has those, like, in the book examples that aren't like the homework problems but like when you're actually going through like the chapter we're going to do those and hopefully like do them well the good thing is that like when it's in the book like that you know exactly like what section of the book it's talking about and like what it's trying to get you to understand so that's why we think it'll be helpful so for example i'm scrolling through i find okay here's example one we might go ahead and like try that out then we'll keep scrolling go to the next one. Oh, here's like another example so that's what we're doing you're reviewing, here's the first example we came across. We are going to go ahead and use the whiteboards to do the problem. All right, so now that we are done, we got our answers. We both got 9,000 newtons. We go ahead and check the answer and that was correct. Started off pretty easy, but we're just gonna keep doing this. Alright, so we just finished our physics review. We're gonna go get something to eat because I don't yeah. think that the people that booked this room next are gonna come soon. So so we've been here, it's 1.30 now. We finished our physics, physics review, that's pretty much it. 
So yeah, we're gonna get lunch and then we'll keep going. All right, so we changed places. We're at the mall now and we are going to work on some psychology. So I'm going to go through like, since it's an online class, we have this like stuff online to help us out. Sierra's going to work on a couple quizzes she has to do still. And we're probably going to do this for like a little bit of time and not like take too long, but it's pretty structured already and we're not like doing anything extra. So here's what my online class looks like. This is all the chapters of the textbook. And so what I've done so far is chapter one and chapter two just for each week we've been in class. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this practice stuff that's already set up for me to help practice some studying. So it just has different stuff like this where I'm going to go through and like, I don't know, it's just kind of a game. So yeah, they already provide it for me. So that's what you I'm doing. You're having fun while you're doing it. I'm still on psychology right now. What I'm doing currently is we have a lecture stuff that I've already done for the class. So I'm going through and reviewing this just on its own. And then I also have the textbook pulled up to kind of fill in the blanks and just review some stuff as well. So I'm just kind of doing some skimming right now and like if there was anything that was on the thing that was set up for me then I'm like, oh yeah, I like need to go through and like learn that too. All right, so I just finished all my quizzes for psychology so I'm done with that class. Um, now we're gonna go home. I might work on some more like physics homework and other stuff but we're kind of winding down the night, especially I think Megan is. All right, so we are back at our apartment. We're going to finish off the video here. Um, as you guys saw from the beginning of this video that we had kind of like a lot that we were trying to tackle yeah. today and I feel like we are more so people that like tend to do that not necessarily on purpose but we like set a lot of goals that we're like we're gonna try and get like all this stuff done today and it's just not realistic given how much time things actually take to do like we were doing our physics review and that took like two and a half hours yeah. and I was like wow didn't, think didn't account that. for that and that always happens like that's just something we do where it's like I oftentimes have to push things to the next day or the day after that just so I can like get everything done but, you know, I'm going to finish off my physics homework tonight, hopefully get all that done. And then I'm switching into, like, YouTube mode because I have two videos that I want to edit tonight. Um, I was able to finish physics stuff as well today. We pretty much showed you exactly what we would do for physics. Um, I also showed you guys how I was studying for psychology, which is, you know, I pretty much showed you guys everything there too. I finished studying psychology. And so we didn't get to exercise physiology or endocrinology today. And we've already been making quizlets for those classes, so... I'll probably be doing a mix of um, using the Quizlets, obviously, which we tend to copy it pretty straight from like the lecture slides. slides. And then also there's going to be like some things like in exercise physiology right now, we're talking a lot about metabolism, glycolysis, um, electron transport chain, like the whole thing like that, where it's going to be more helpful to like draw use the out. lecture slides and then like draw stuff out and learn that way. So I feel like that's a good example of how we kind of go back and forth between using Quizlet and also like being more yeah. like, do I actually understand this? So that's what we will do when we study those classes. Which will probably be like tomorrow, maybe Tuesday also, since we don't have any class that day. So we can kind of catch up hopefully by Tuesday and then all is well. All good. We're all caught up hopefully on like the first two yeah. weeks of classes. Um, so we hope this video was a little more informative than the last study video we did. And if you want us to do a couple more of these, I don't know how much different it would be just because like we had the same class for the whole semester. But if you guys like these like study vlogs that are like focused on studying and not just like a regular vlog, let us know. And we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.